Hi everyone. Okay, today I'm going to be making kaya. Okay. So here are the, how am I going to do it? Here is five eggs. Okay, so to these five eggs, first we just whisk up the five eggs. Okay, after you whisk up the five eggs, add in 280 ml of thick coconut milk. Okay. And then I'm adding pandan imalco. Now if you don't have pandan imalco, you can just uh, get about three to five pandan leaves. Just beat it up with uh, uh, about two to three tablespoons of water and then strain it then you will get your pandan extract okay mix that in now after you mix this in you have to strain it now i have to tell you there's three kinds of kaya okay one is the green kaya which is pandan flavored kaya the other one is the caramel kaya, which is brown in color. And the other one, which is the egg kaya, which is yellow in color. Okay. All the methods to make is very, very similar. Okay. So after you beat this up nicely, strain it into a pot. Okay. So here I have a pot with the strainer. So just pour all this through. So that there's no residue of eggs in there because sometimes the egg whites just don't uh, break up well enough okay, so once you've done this once you strain it now you can add in your sugar this is 250 grams of just white sugar plain white sugar okay. Add this in, just give it a little mix and then you are going to double boil this until it becomes kaya. So just heat up some water first and get ready to double boil this. Okay, so bring some water to a boil and then just put it onto and just keep mixing in until it thickens. It will take about 15 minutes. Okay, it will start to thicken. Just keep stirring just for 15 minutes. Now, uh, I mentioned to you earlier about the pandan juice. Now, you take about 3 to 5 pandan leaves, add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of water, and then you grind it. Okay? After you grind it, you will get pandan juice, green color liquid, which you can uh, use to add to this and you will get pandan flavored kaya. Okay. So after 15 minutes, I'll get back to you. Don't stop stirring with the whisk, whisk because you don't want to burn it, alright? Okay, this is how it looks after 5 minutes of double boiling. As you can see, it's much thicker now. So, just keep going, okay? Okay, after 15 minutes, this is how it looks like. Now, you might see that there are some small lumps. Don't worry about it, okay? This is just at the 15 minute, 15 minute mark, okay? There's still another 15 minutes to go. You will get thicker. Okay, this is half an hour of double boiling. You see, it's very thick. I've tasted it, the sugar is, is just nice, not too sweet. So, now once you reach the half an hour mark, remove it from the double boiler, 
check your water level make sure you have enough water in there turn your fire to the lowest okay to the lowest and then put it on top and then you're going to cook this for one hour so as i mentioned put it on the on the double boiler get a cover wrap it with a cloth and cover it cover it this is so that the water will not drip into the kaya and leave this boiling on the slowest fire for one hour so with about five minutes left of your double boiling of the kaya take about two tablespoons of uh, plain white sugar and cook it over a fire to make a caramel okay now i will show you as it get to become a caramel right okay as you can see it's melting and it's turning dark so just cook it until it's dark enough to your liking and then turn it off okay uh, this is almost there uh, once it starts bubbling okay turn it off okay so just add it to the your cook pandan or your cook kaya already and mix it all up <coughs> Now don't worry if it, you see it's still lumpy. Okay, just mix it up well. After it's mixed up well, you see the color has turned slightly darker than green. Okay, this is how you want your kaya to be. Okay, once this is done, just set it aside to cool completely. Once it's totally cool already, now you can either use a whisk and whisk, keep whisking this until it smoothens out, or you can use an immersion blender, okay, and mix it and it'll become smooth. Or you can put this whole thing into a fruit processor and grind it all up and it'll become smooth. So I'm using an immersion blender, okay, so. So, there it is. So, don't forget to lick this. <laughs> so, now all you need to do is just put this into a container or put it into bottles then you can store it in the fridge yeah you can store it for quite long you see it's nice and shiny okay and uh, because of the caramel sugar you add in the egg flavor will not be strong anymore okay it will taste the pandan flavor and coconut flavor more okay so that's about it this is how you make uh, kaya Good luck, give it a try. Bye everyone.